Hey guys, Brady Land here, and welcome back to Smoldering Reviews. This Smoldering Review is on this skeleton slash skull book pile. Um, this is the last one review I've planned. There's definitely going to be more because I still have a couple more uh, little props to get to, but this is the last one I've had planned. Um, it's Friday, so this is the last one, number 175. Uh, this prop, as you can see, it's just a decoration. It doesn't do anything, but it's out in the garage, and my goal is to get everything out in the garage reviewed. And so, yeah, that's my goal, and it's in the garage, so it don't matter if it don't move or anything. It's still a prop. Now, I have done a review on this little skeleton. Not exactly this one, because I have two. I did a review on the other one. It wasn't a small review. It was just a basic review. And it's in the garage, so that might be the next small review. It might be on this skeleton, pose and say skeleton. So stay tuned for that, because it's still in the garage. And I want to get these done. Anyway, let's focus on this skull slash skeleton book pile. So, on the actual skulls themselves, they kind of got cracks in them, and they got, like, just brown dirt all in them and cracks, and then brown dirt in the eye sockets and the nose, and then there's the teeth that kind of have dirt all over them, and they're really good detail. The top one only has top teeth, while the bottom two both have all their teeth. Well, not all of them, because they got some missing, but top and bottom jaw. A couple cracks. These ones have bones underneath them. Both of these skulls basically look the same, just got cracks and crevices in different places. Um, these two have bones that kind of stick out underneath them. It's not really crossbones, just like bones that are underneath them, just to give the effect that it's just like a skeleton pile with bones and skulls. Um, and then the actual book themselves, I believe they're, they actually sound like they're hollow. Um, they got these like book pages that look yellowed and crusty. I like got like dirt on them, like crusty old yellowed pages. It's just from the side, obviously. The top book co cover is black. All of them are black. This book um, has the spine out. These two in the middle do. And, of course, they're on the other side. This shows the pages. And then down here is the last book. And they're just kind of stacked up all jig-jagged like a, like a book stack would be. And then there's the skulls on the top. Right? I'll go ahead and turn it around so we can see it from the other side. Here's it from the other side. So you can still see the bones stick out the back. And this skull has a big crack on the back. And this one has a crack underneath. And this one just has a little crack. Um, it also seems, I don't know if this is a part of it or not, but there's like a discoloration. It looks like maybe something like a spilling, like an ooze or a just kind of guck under there. I don't know if that, uh, yeah, see the like kind of discoloration. I don't know if that's a part of the prop or if that's a problem with mine. I don't know. But these books were the ones on the other side, which is the front that were showing the actual pages. Now the two that were just showing the spine on the front are obviously showing the book pages. Here's it from this side. It's got three of them showing, all of them showing the book pages. There's the side. And now if we go to the other side, it basically looks the same way. I find this really, this decoration slash prop really interesting because I just like this concept of the books like kind of piled up and then the skulls on top. I think the skulls are really creepy and realistic looking. And I like the detail of the bones underneath the skulls to give the effect like... That it's not just, like, three skulls just sitting on top of books. Like, it's actual, like, to give the effect. Sorry, it's not focusing. To give the effect that, like, there's bones and skulls and skeletons all piled up. And then at the very top, um, there's three skulls. I like that effect about it. And the books are really creepy and give that old, kind of creepy, decrepit book vibe. So, overall, this decoration slash prop is really creepy. I used it at my birthday party decoration and it was really good and fit with the theme well. Anyway, that's going to be it for this morning view on this skeleton book pile. Um, I already, I know what the next morning views are going to be because I just planned it up just from being out here and looking at the stuff. The next one is probably going to be on this zombie baby um, thing that you hold, the skeleton baby, and then the one after that is going to be on this pose and stay skeleton. So stay tuned for those two small reviews on Saturday, Saturday, and Sunday. Stay tuned for those, and then I'll decide where to go with the series next, because I've done like seven small reviews in a row, but it's just because I have a lot to 
of little props that I want to review. So I hope you're enjoying them. I hope you don't mind that there's been like 10 smoldering reviews in a row. I will start doing different videos. Like, I want to do a video on KG and and Creepy Town Clown and Rotten Ring Master and Crouchy all together. So you'll see that. But I want to get through all these small reviews first. So sorry, there's going to be like 15 small reviews in a row. But I hope you don't mind. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this small review. Bye, guys.